How's it going YouTube? Liam from Leaves Australia here and welcome back to Let's Play Ocean Horn 2. I knew that I had to get back into recording another episode of this game because I pretty much enjoyed how the game started off to begin with. Sorry, I'm just distracted because of this. And goodbye. Okay. So I did take a hit out of that, but uh, there, there we go. <laughs> Alright, not the start I wanted to go with, but that's perfectly fine. We'll roll with it anyway. So, I wanted to record it, get back into recording this game again because, as I said, I was I enjoyed basically the starting portion of it because, considering on how long that I recorded the last episode, which was about 15 minutes, um, and edited down to about ha, uh, 37 minutes, I think it was when I finished off, I was because I got so into playing this game because there was so much to explore and do just from the first two areas that we encountered, which is, of course, Outcast Island, and then, um, I think it was RNA Village? I, I can't remember the name. And now we're in, I think this is Warden Forest, if I remember correctly. Um, I believe, yeah, Warden Forest, Warden Woods, sorry. But, before we get too deep into this episode, I do want to point out a couple of things. Maybe I should hide from that scarab over there for now. What I can 100% confirm, and after doing a little bit of research to help me write down the description, but the last episode, Ocean Horn 2 is in fact a prequel. Uh, I've checked a lot of other little places here and there to confirm that this is a prequel because I was under the assumption that it could be a slight sequel or it could have been a prequel. I just didn't know which of one it was. While that I have seen articles stating that it is a prequel, I have to sort of double uh, double check to make sure that it was a prequel. So, the other thing about it is that because this is a prequel, this game is set, uh, the, one of the other assumptions I was thinking was that this was set, like, maybe a few years before the first game. So, I, one of the guesses I was thinking was Mayfair could possibly be the old man from the last game, which is known as Hermit. That is not the case at all. For what I have read, that this game is set a millennium ago, before the events of the first game. So... My guess is now is that Mayfair could probably be the ancestor to uh, Hermit and possibly the, the hero character, which is named Hero. There's no really official name for both the first game's character and this character. They're just named Hero. Uh, so I'm guessing they're ancestors to those characters. I do not 100% certain, but that's perfectly fine. That's all I just wanted to say. Now let's get back into playing this game. So. Uh, seek for the target, oh brave one, and the path will open for you. Okay, well there is a- wait, hang on. Oh, that's it. That's the arrow. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. The arrows have a shadow effect. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Oop. Well, I mean, I kind of like that they turn into- uh, the camera goes in first person when you're crawling under stuff to search for items. And, a boom. There we go. Oh! How did you get in here? This is the arch This is an archaeology site. Make sure not to touch anything. I'm just an amateur archaeologist myself, but I know enough to understand the importance of find of a find like this. This is one like the big tower further down the forest, except smaller. It could be a part that has fallen off. Oh wait. Then it wouldn't be a new find at all. Oh man, maybe I should just leave the, this to the real archaeologists. Uh, Alright, hang on. Ooh. Ooh, what's... Whoa. What the heck? What the heck is this? Enter. Oh! Oh my god, wow! So this is a teleportation hub. Oh, that is awesome. This was never in the first game, holy crap. That's incredible. Because I, I distinctly remember the first game didn't have any sort of uh, teleportation abilities or hubs or portals like this oh that's incredible 
Okay, so. Biggest focus right now is, of course, to keep an eye out for teleportations. So, that is cool. I was not expecting that whatsoever. Kind of almost looks like, um, uh, one of the Breath of the Wild shrines, just... Just not as advanced looking, it's more of an ancient looking, um, tower. But, let's just carry on and explore this, uh, land. There's a chest over there. Alright, I gotta remember that I have my shield as well, which I think if I remember... Yeah, it's, um, right trigger for my shield. I got to use my shield! What's in the chest? Ooh! What's that? You found a power shard flame of Eris. If you attach it to a weapon or an item, this mysterious gem gives a small boost in damage. Do you want to equip the shard now? Okay, yeah, let's do it. Um, ah, oh, the knight sword, I reckon we shall... Uh, let's put it on damage. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, I see. So, certain shards have different abilities that increase their damage or might. Okay, that's actually... That's actually pretty cool. Hey, leveled up! Uh, your new knight rank is an honorary title of Chuck. <laughs> okay. You'll be granted a small bonus of 50 coins and your health is refilled. Okay. I'll take it. Hang on. I just realized that my game... My mic might have picked the game up a little bit, so I apologize for that. Okay, so for where the compass is taking me, we're heading this way. Alright, so bullets are refilled to the max. Keep an eye out for all these grass, because I need to grab some help. Beacon Hill is where we're heading to next. Valley of the Warden. Okay. Ah, so it leads to the tower this way. Okay. Alright, so, definitely going to be using my pistol, but I'll need to use it wisely for the flyers. Or whatever those things were. Mm, oh, hello. You got the blood shards. Oh, bloodstones. I always keep thinking they are known as blood shards for some reason. I keep thinking, that's what I keep thinking. But they're actually bloodstones. Uh, ooh. Here's our robot friend. I completely forgotten the name. <laughs> Alright, let's pick you up. Place you here. It takes two to get to the chest. Ah, uh, okay. So I need someone someone else to help me out to grab that chest. Okay, fair enough. I knew that wasn't going to be that easy. Well, part of me knew anyway. It feels just like yesterday Jen, that's that the name. came here to have a picnic, and I carried you home on my shoulders. Today, you're going to have to walk back on your own. Jen, join your party. Ooh. You can command party members on the radio menu. Okay, we need to find a way to open the door to the tower. I don't know why Master Mayfair closed it in the first place. He's waiting for us inside. Okay. Uh, companions, if the good knight is in desire, a dire situation, he will ask his or her friends to help him. Uh, whether it is about taking down an impossible foe or solving a puzzle. Together, everything will be easier. The good knight accesses the radio menu. Well, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Uh, to give commands to his com companions, or do so by aiming at the targets with the aim mode. Okay. All right. So now Jen is following us. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And... 
The wooden statue! 20 coins. Lovely. So our main goal is to now find a way to open this door. Ah, oh, okay. I didn't know that you could actually pick up barrels. Oh, I see. Okay. So how do we get up there? Okay, so we need something to get up there. Question is, how do we get up there? At least the grass, at least the grass is going back. That's pretty. That's pretty handy. Right, I'm gonna explore a little bit around the area because right now I am a little bit stumped. Also wanted to see what was under here. A coin. <laughs> Okay, so there's a the walls breaking here. Do I have to find an explosive barrel and take that down? Because that way I can. That doesn't make any sense though, because that is a wooden, is an iron fence there. Huh. The villager, the villager voice is coming in. Huh. Hmm, yes. Very, uh... Very interesting predicament. Huh. Arne Beacon. Okay, so Arne was the, was the name. You can carry and throw various objects. Okay, so I can't throw... Oh, maybe. Hang on. So, ooh, that's pretty cool. Oh, so that's where I go for my healing spells. Okay. So, I, here's a, this another thing I was uh, assuming uh, when I did the last episode was that... So, I was thinking that you would create a potion when you collect extra healing, uh, healing items instead of... Uh, uh, as the healing counter goes on. But in actual fact, so it doesn't necessarily create a potion. It gives you an ability, it increases your healing spell ability. Right. So, I'm meant to be able to throw this, but it's not letting me for some reason. I'm sort of scratching my head a little bit here. Oh, it was my trigger button the whole time. Oh, oh come on. All right, so... Wait a minute, hang on. Oh, maybe because... Because that I actually have my shield, it doesn't necessarily throw stuff as much anymore. Actually, no, that doesn't make any sense because... Uh, actually, I don't know, to be honest. Oh, well. That no, doesn't matter. At least we figured it out. Uh, that took. <laughs> I think that was just me, um, just overthinking it a little bit. But now into Arne Beacon. All right, this is one of the famous be beacons. These structures predate uh, Arcadians and certain fragments f of a long lost history of the world. Okay. If only walls could talk. This place has stood here for hundreds of years. If not longer. So considering that this game is a prequel, there's so much other backstory that they can not only tell that would link up to the first game possibly, but like there's so much other stuff that they can do if it is taking place like a millennium ago. I should probably look at the, uh, look at the definition of millennia so that it gives me a more rougher idea. Uh, Arcadian Mage Guild asked me to deliver the food rations to this tower. But I can't get past the gate. I will leave canned food here instead. Corporal Gray. I see. Okay. We shall take down these cactus. Ow! That did a lot of damage. But that's actually good because it can make me test it out. 
Do you want to use a healing spell? Yes. Okay, so it uses one healing, so it heals one heart at a time. Oh, and it needs to charge. Okay. And does Jen follow or does he stay down there? No, he stands down there. Okay. It's alright. And open a sesame! Be careful now. Don't worry, Jen, I will be. Oh! Well, snap. <laughs> well, this is only a minor setback. Well, at least that we can climb. Question is, can Jen climb up? Okay, let's continue. <laughs> it's like magical, just like magic. It's just like, uh, can you turn around for a second? Okay, you can look back now. All right, I'm up here. <laughs> Unless he has a super point, strong jump. Arcadian soldiers were stationed here, but that was during the Direfolk War, over 20 years ago. Okay. Chest over here, but how do I get to it? What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, a slight, uh, might tiny slight uh, misalignment in the walls, but uh, well, I might patch. They might patch that in later. Oop. Fire cactus. Okay. Oh, I see. Wait, did those barrels explode though? Aha, okay. <laughs> That's just stuck up there now. Alright. So if I take this barrel and take it upstairs to that other wooden wall, that can destroy it, and then I can get to that chest. Out of the way, burning barrel coming through. <laughs> Just stuck up there. <laughs> what do we have? Oh! Alright, it is part of a heart container. Hey, hey! One more heart container to go, and then we've got a another heart we can have. I'll take this bloodstone. Hey, there's Mayfair. Master Mayfair is there. You came back safe from your trip to Outcast Island and fulfilled your mission. You have finished your training, son. What could be a better stage for your grand moment than one of the famous beacons? This structure was not made by Arcadians. Beacons are much older, remnants of the world's unknown past. For centuries, this beacon has been a shelter for travelers, a lookout for commanders, and now simply a landmark for a remote town. Follow me. I want to give you something. You have lived during the time of peace, but it wasn't that long ago when we fought in the dire folk war in the Outlands. I was there when the war ended, at the risk-born citadel. Inside a dark hall, we saw the creature behind the war, Shadow Maga. Its face was hidden behind a horned mask. My fellow knights, Sir Corbin and I, did not stand a chance against the creature, but a young warlock who was with us possessed the power of magic. Even in the heat of the battle, he was able to concentrate on a difficult spell and defeat Shadow Maga. 
The only thing left of Shago Maga was its mask. The young warlock picked it up and fitted it over his face. At that time, he took the name of Mesmeroth. I owe my life to that man. People celebrated us as war heroes, but it was Mesmeroth who ended the war, and people glorified him for that. Ooh. Here, I want you to have this. It is my old caster. You are a knight now, but it is not always an easy path to follow. Remember that to live the life of a knight is to protect and serve the kingdom. Follow your heart in all your decisions. Your new caster gun was created by the best Arcadian mages. If you gather enough different materials, your caster gun can create spells. Try it out. There should be enough useful material lying around. Give it a shot. Okay. You got Master Mayfair's old caster gun. It was in the box that you saved at our cast island. It is a knight's weapon manufactured by the warlocks of White City and the last remaining weapon of its kind. Okay. What's in here? Oh. You got the fire spell container for the uh, caster gun. It can hold five units of spells, but the capacity can be expanded. Gather fire material to fill the fire spell. Ah, okay. Wow, that is pretty. Oh. Okay, that is pretty cool. <laughs> All right, let's grab this bloodstone. Okay, so... Oh, this is definitely going to be interesting because... Because there is so much story that they can basically tell in this case. Um, and explore a lot more further into the histories of... Um, like, what possibly made Arcadia to what it is now. Okay, so this is pretty cool. A th definitely an interesting way of, like, having something to cast a spell. Because I remember, because, so it's not, so you're not using a wand or a staff, like some wizards or, um, warlocks would use. You're not using a, um, like your hands, you're not using your hands to cast spells, you're using a gun. Yeah. Or a gauntlet, because I remember playing, um... Uh, what was it? So it was Fable 3. Fable 3, uh, in that game, you used a... You, when you obtained the, a gauntlet, uh, that's the way that you could cast spells in that game. Uh, ooh! Chest over here. Ah, the green shard. You found a power shard. Uh, Tib is passing. Or Tib is passing. If you attach it to a weapon or an item, its mysterious gem gives a small boost in charge. Do you want to equip the shard now? Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, fire. Right, okay, so. So, red shards are power. Green shards are charging. And I'm guessing the blue shards are, um, are the might. Possibly. Ooh. Before we pick that up because I have a feeling I might know what that is. Let there be fire! I'm already loving this. Coin and some flammable seeds. Ooh. Hello! Oh, so you can swim. So you just, it just can't, so like with the first game, it takes energy to swim in the open ocean. Um, and I probably think it might be the same thing in certain game areas, but. Can you hear that? It's coming from the sky. Let's take a better look from the top of my house. Uh oh. Ooh. 
I know that airship and its pilot. It looks like she's crashed into Warden Woods. You've got to save her. Take the shortcut behind my hut and hurry. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't notice that because of the, um, of uh, whatever those things are. But now we have this. Try to shoot down those spiky plants with your new fire spell. <laughs> Way ahead of you, Jen. <laughs> Alright. What does that say? To Warden Woods. Alright. Over here. Uh -huh. I think that's probably just a symbol, but I have a feeling that might come in handy later, or it might come into play later. All right, so definitely different types of creatures that we're encountering now. Ooh, okay, what do we got here? Ow! I gotta remember, I need to press A to, <laughs> to get up. It's not an automatic uh, get up system. Grab the money. Hey, why did you interfere? I was having a nice streak. Uh, Trin is her name. Okay. Do you need other people to tell you what to do? Well. I am Trin from Mechanical Assault and Reconnaissance. Mechanical Assault and Reconnaissance. Okay. I can't believe what those bolt heads did to my yellow bird. Hey, you came from Arna Village, right? I desperately need to find Master Mayfair. Do you know his whereabouts? Can you take me to him? Yep. Okay, I hope you know the way. I certainly do. Trin joins your quest. Now, I knew that there was going to be a female character who would join our journey uh, throughout this game. Um, but uh, oh, I did not boy, know the name, so there you go. Away from the White City. But I like it. Okay. Huh. Is that a warden head? I've seen one just like it somewhere else. Oh, really? Whereabouts have you seen it before? Hey, is that a real caster gun? Those things are extremely rare. They stopped manufacturing them after the ministry of left the white city. <laughs> Watch out for that scarabar. Is that it? I think we're clear. <laughs> and she does, I hope she doesn't end up as some sort of uh, uh, Navi character. Like, as much as I love Navi um, as a, as sort of a guiding fairy, I can, I can understand why some people... Oh, hello. Uh, oh. Oh. That does not look good. Oh no, they must have followed me here. There's nobody here. Maybe the townspeople saw them coming and, and hid? Is there a place where they could be hiding? That sounds like a good hiding place. Come on, let's go. Okay, let's find Master Mayfair. We should keep out of sight as much as possible. They're not friendly, trust me. Alright, so it looks like we might have to be doing some sneaking stuff. If the situation gets ugly, we should fight together. Don't hesitate to call on me if you need help. We're gonna need to fight these guys anyway. Oh, ooh. 
Hey, is that a bomb hut? Spell. And we've got some bombs. All right, that will come in handy if we don't have to. If we don't find any um. Just make sure they don't see you. I am a master of sneaking. I'm basically invisible to them. Seriously. These troopers are well equipped and highly trained. that cave. Here we go. Alright. <laughs> Hi, Junker. <laughs> so the name updates every time you level up. Nobody will get past us without permission. We are guarding the exit. I don't think they will find us. Well, you hope so. There he is. Right there. My Highness, I knew it was you. Thank the gods you're safe. Son, let me introduce you to Trinity, the granddaughter of Grand Regent Archimedes, the leader of Arcadia. Please, Master Mayfair, don't call me that. Is everyone okay? Right after your airship crashed, we saw those dropships coming, and were able to escape to the caves. I'm sure they won't find us here. Those dark troopers were looking for me. I, uh, was spying on them earlier in the Outlands. I have never seen anything like this. The weapons and technology these troops possess boggles my mind. Who could be behind this? There is someone, but no, it cannot be him. I saw a whole army out there in the Outlands. Ships loaded with troopers and airships. An invasion force. This is even more serious than I thought. We must head to the White City and tell the Knight's Order about this dark army. How can we get out of here? A boat would be an easy target for those airships. And how do we make sure the villagers are safe? Well, you don't have to worry about the villagers. They are tough and they will be safe here. But listen carefully. I've come up with a plan. I have a hoverbike, Taurus One, hidden in the old warehouse on the other side of the town. It will carry two people. You and Trin will take the hoverbike and drive through the town and distract the enemy while I escape with Jen through Warden Woods. We will meet you at the old high road campsite. Is that clear? She is the granddaughter of Grand Regent Archimedes himself, so make sure she is safe. All right. Oh, got an old warehouse key. Okay. So that is interesting. I was not expecting that from her. To be to to be honest. All right. Let's grab what we can. Okay. So. I am going to end the episode off here, but holy moly, so much information that just, like, just out of the blue. So, okay, so out of the blue, something was starting to come back to me from the first game. And I remember th when it came to meeting that, uh, I think it was Mesmer Mesmeroth, or I, th I think that could be the name. One thing came into mind is that that mask was shown... Uh, from one of the other villains uh, or the um, uh, arch uh, or one of the antagonists of the of the first game oh. and the return of another character that's going to take a lot of thinking to figure that out over time but I reckon the, the game will tell us more as we progress but I am loving this already so we've met Trin our next job is to head to 
to the old warehouse and find that hover bike and hopefully get ourselves to safety. So we'll hopefully find that in the next episode. But thank you very much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then click the like button, click the subscribe button for more videos heading your way. Until then, this has been Let's Play Ocean Horn 2. I'm Liam from Lace Australia. Until next time, Liam out.